you've had these amazing experiences, uh, and I, I want to hear about them. For example, you had a very long and close relationship with Prince. Yeah. And of course, his death, you know, so many people uh, talking about it, but I haven't known that many people who actually knew him that well, yeah. and, uh, and, and you knew him quite well. I did. I was blessed. One of the highlights of my life was to know him. We had a 20-year friendship, which was quite unlikely, because the first time he calls me, Saturday morning, early, phone rings. And you were uh, obviously, you were known, uh, you know, television personality TV at the guy. time. Yeah, and, you're, and the phone rings. Phone rings on Saturday morning, and he says, uh, may I speak to Tavis? I said, this is Tavis. I said, who's calling? He said, Prince. I said, who? Prince. Click. I hang up. Yeah. <laughs> He it, calls back a second time on a Saturday morning. He says, Tavis, it's, it's, it's me, Prince. I said, man, it's too early on Saturday morning. Don't play these games with me. Click. Second time I hang up on him. Right. Third time he calls back, I hang up again. Right. He calls back finally and says, dude, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is me. It's Prince. I'm in L.A. I'm at this hotel. Here's the number. Call the number. Ask for me by name. I will have them put the call through. And now I'm thinking, oh, sh shoot. Yeah. <laughs> Have I really this isn't PBS. You can go crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. You could, you could, frankly, you could be naked right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, in that case, yeah, well, well, we'll get there. We'll yeah. work our way up. Yeah, yeah, so I'm thinking, have I really hung up on Prince three times? I call, and sure enough, it's him. He wants to invite me to lunch. He's been watching this show, to your point. And has decided he wants to come on. What I don't realize until weeks later, Andy, is that he's really interviewing me. I got played by Prince. Right. He wanted to spend time with me over lunch to see if he'd be comfortable sitting next to me on national television. So it turns out that we became friends, and for 20 years, you can best believe, I was profusely apologizing for hanging up on him. He never <laughs> let me forget it for 20 years. Yeah. To be honest, the yeah. first two calls were me pretending to be Prince. No, it was <laughs> <laughs> Total coincidence that then he called. So I've been played by you, too. You yeah, yeah, played. I yeah, just okay. thought this would be funny. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and what's, what's fascinating is that uh, I had the pleasure to uh, meet him, I want to I think I met him once, yeah. uh, and, and didn't really at all get to know him. Uh, was backstage at a concert, and we were both watching the concert together. And I will say this: he's the best air drummer I've seen in my life. Yeah. He was he was air drumming along, and I've told this story before, but he was air drumming along and hitting every. And a lot yeah. of people air drum. Yeah. He was playing real drums that mm -hmm. were invisible, and it was amazing. Most people don't know he starts out. He starts out as a drummer. Yeah. And because he wanted to be better than his father at at his instrument, at all instruments. He learned to play everything. You know, those early Prince albums were like lead vocals, Prince, background vocals, Prince, yep. all instruments played by Prince, album cover design, photo of Prince taken by Prince. <laughs> I mean, engineered by Prince. This yeah. guy did everything. He was, yeah. a, he was a great autonomous sort of artist.